We know this is an industry that's been in, uh, that's been in long-term decline, and the numbers of sheep being exported by sea have fallen by 90% over the last 20 years, Senator Watt said. The legislation also won the support of Green Senator uh, Mahan Farki who wanted to drop uh, what the trade dropped because of animal welfare conditions. Nothing can be done to make live export ships uh, safe for animals. This cruel trade is irredeemable and the only option is to shut it down, she said. Um, now it is beyond time to shut this industry once and for all. And obviously the reason I'm bringing that for a bit of a chat, Chewy, is last week, what do we find out in New Zealand? Is that we're bringing it back. Nothing can be done to make live export ships safe for animals. This cruel and irredeem this is this cruel this cruel trade, sorry, is irredeemable and the only option is to shut it down. Whilst our government goes, right team, let's fire this back up again. Yeah. It's an absolutely monstrous fucking practice. It makes absolutely no no sense. Um, and, and as pointed out with the Australian example, most farmers had turned away from it and it's just the last holdouts. Um, I don't, and had never understood the idea why these floating concentration camps yeah. were seen as a, as a good option for a country that tries to hold itself up as like quite an ethical farmer. Whether you agree with the, 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 the farming practices around meat and that sort of thing notwithstanding it, it it fucking happens but you know these these ships were just monstrous there is that indefensible irredeemable as as mentioned in that article and i i don't think anybody with a shred of ethics would, would stand for it um as you mentioned to, um pat I, I grew up in Timaru and yes that's that's where a lot of those ships came came in and you could smell them across the wow. entire city you could hear them from kilometers away um just horrible and i just don't see why that is seen as as a as a, a better option than you know processing the product here and, and exporting it as a frozen a frozen thing from an animal husbandry point of view from an ethics point of view from an economical point of view i i live she export is a, a one-way trip for a hiding and like when a lot of our export partners are, are now looking at things like food miles um animal welfare carbon offsets all of that sort of thing this is the past that looks comfy eh? in a ship Oh, and that's probably at the start. There's a reason why they don't show the ships at the end of the day. Because they are literally covered in feces and all sorts of other things as well. There's a reason why all the footage and, and pictures of these ships at sea or towards the end of their journey have to be smuggled out. Yeah, it's just a bizarre one, actually, because I don't know. I mean, other than particular uh, cultures or religions that need to uh, kill a live animal as a part of their preparation i don't know how big that market is especially as if australia is telling us the um the practice has dropped by 90 percent already yeah. then you know and from a cultural from a, a cultural point of view like this is why we 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 had halal butchers like we solved that problem and it's it's, it's again this 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 thing of like we can't do things here. We have to send them overseas. They'll, they'll do the finishing work. They'll add the value, that sort of thing. Ugh. I mean, as you said, Chewy, no longer white sheep, are they? No. It's a, it's a floating concentration camp. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And this is what our government supports. Now, I know that people are going to go, well, they don't support treating like this. I guess the point is you can't not have that there's no system out there that for example will take the feces away Jesus. yeah okay sorry guys sorry 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 um but you know look at it maybe it'd be nice to talk to mr luxon and show him that video and see what they think about that